All right, everyone, um, I'm here with um, a little project that I want to do. Um, I've never really done anything like this before, so this is a, this is a first. And um, basically, I got a really good deal on a Castle Grayskull, uh, which is this one. As you can see, the thing is that the uh, castle is incomplete. It's uh, missing um, uh, the drawbridge. It's missing the uh, insides. See? So, what I decided to do is, um, you know, I dabble a little bit in, in arts and stuff. So, I wanted to customize it. So, I started looking on the internet some of the custom jobs that they have and um, you know they were pretty pretty awesome so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start this project I think uh, it'll take me a couple of days and um, see how it goes so come along with me all right everyone I'm back and this is the first part as you can see I uh, got a black spray paint uh, now this is the shiny type that's what I wanted to get so as you can see the difference right away uh, from the original one, which is still over here. I still haven't finished it. And I'm going to continue with this one. Let these guys dry. And then I'm going to do the second, the second part on the other side. So, so far it looks really nice as you guys can see. And uh, again, this is going to take me a few days since I bought the other paints so I can do the, uh, the very specific ones. So let's go on with this one. It's very simple. I'll just give you a very small glimpse of what I'm doing here. And um, like this. Well, as you guys can see, boom, right away, you can see the difference. So I'm going to continue with this. I'm going to turn this, is, turn this uh, off for a bit because... Uh, kind of hard to uh, record and film at the same time now this is not my GoPro so that's why it's a little bit easier to handle well as you guys can see some of the changes there so let me finish this up and we'll continue on all right I'm back Guys, this is uh, how it's coming out to be. Uh, you know, the, the whole, both castles. Now, I need the other sides. I'm still working on that. But I'm going to let these guys dry. But so far, I really, really like how this project is going. And uh, tomorrow, I'm going to start to detail them. I got some paint, some acrylic paints. So let's see how it goes. Fingers crossed to see how they uh, how this castle is going to come out and I hope it comes out really neat. Now I'm going to get the stickers. I got them online. I just need to print them out. But so far so good guys. Alright guys so this is the uh, final result so far with the black paint. Um, pretty happy about it so far. This is the front of the castle and this is the back so so far it looks pretty good and uh tomorrow when they dry um i'm gonna start with the second part of the restoration or customization of this castle grayskull and as you guys can see sun's coming down even though it's pretty early so i don't, I don't want to do these in the in the dark i'd rather do them during the day so i can see the, the color is pretty good so tomorrow i'm going to start in the second part go get the stickers so i can put them inside obviously i'm missing the um the jaw bridge i have an extra castle which i'm going to uh take the jaw bridge um, and i'm going to customize it as well uh, and, and in many ways this is going to be my my castle that I'm going to keep uh, as far as where I'm going to put all my toys and everything like that. So uh, I really want to do a good job on it. See how it goes. 
So uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, everyone, this is the next day, and this is uh, the results. It's uh, dry now, and uh, well, today I, I'm going to do the uh, draw, draw bridge, and um, well, I'm gonna put some color into it. These are some of the paints I got. Um, hopefully it'll come out again the way that I have envisioned it. Unfortunately, the jaw bridge uh, is broken. That's the way that I bought it. And uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, maybe fix it some way. But in the meantime, I'm going to spray it down and give it a more unique, unique look and uh, go from there. So um, let's see how All right, it goes. everyone, this is how it's going so far. Um, I've been using this gray paint here in the castle making it a little bit older now I'm still I'm still um, wondering uh, about the rocks I want to make them different from the rest of the castle uh, same thing with the front over here and uh, that's what I'm debating how could I make this uh, stand out as far as rocks maybe uh, dabbling with uh, some colors and um, you know changing them so right now I did this uh, paint job here with this color which is a little bit like kind of like a metallic brown and this is next and uh, I've been working on on this right here you can see a little bit of the smudges because um, I did a little bit of a repaint over uh, so this is how it's going so far um, still I'm still happy with the results uh, I still have a long way to go, so uh, I'll come back late. later. Alright everyone, the sun is coming down, so that means that I'm going to stop for today. Uh, this is how it looks so far. Both pieces, as you can see, I've been working on it with the metallic paints. And uh, especially the front part. Now I'm still undecided on what am I going to do with the rock formation there. But one of the things that, um, you know, I, I'm very, very satisfied is that at the beginning, as you guys remember, um, the skull looked like the other side um, and it didn't have any, uh, it didn't stand out for me. So what I did is I got some silver uh, metallic paint and then I, you know, put it here in the skull and some of the, the windows and stuff to, you know, bring it out a little bit. And this over here is how the um, trap jaw or the I'm sorry the jaw bridge is coming about um, I'm still not finished with it I'm going to uh, put some more things on it some more color to the to the other side but uh, in the meantime I think I'm gonna leave it at that I, I don't like to work uh, without the proper light and I, and I don't want to go inside my room because um, and some of this stuff is pretty strong so uh, I'll leave it for tomorrow and uh, see how it goes. Hopefully tomorrow uh, we can finish it. I got the stickers ready and I'll show them to you tomorrow. All right, guys, this is the next day and this is how it looks so far. Castle Grayskull and the other part of the castle. Now, this is what I did with the uh, jawbridge. Um, and I'm thinking of messing with this, uh, the tongue in another color. So I went yesterday to buy some more um, paints. Now this right here, everyone, is from my other castle that I have. Um, I don't have all the parts, but I do have this, and I'm going to modify it too for this castle. So I'm taking parts out of uh, one castle and putting it in another. Now the other thing is this one right here. That's where the trap, no, this is uh, uh, the elevator. This is where the elevator would have gone. Uh, but I don't have the elevator and some of the new paints that I got I got green uh, I got uh, black and these right here I don't know if you guys recognize them these are these are the stickers that go with the castle now I, I printed these out um, but I got these uh, uh, from a, a guy you guys know if you follow uh, toy toy restoration and stuff toy Paloy I think it's a guy from Britain and he has a PDF file where you can 
go in there and uh, print these out. This is uh, the, I did this in a kind of a cardboard kind of a thing. This is for the castle, the computer. These right here and the uh, spacesuit. So I'm going to start working on this and uh, see how it goes. And All right, guys, quick update. Uh, I stopped working on the bottom part over there, guys. Um, I mean, the, the skull, bottom for me. And um, I'm going to let it dry. And right now I am painting this tower here. Uh, with, this, is, this is a metallic brown. So... Um, you know, it's a quick update. Um, I'm very happy so far uh, as the way that it's going. And, um, you know, one of the things that I noticed was that um, I'm missing the tower here. But uh, fortunately, I actually have it with my other castle. Um, and I'm going to, uh, again, my project is to make one new castle for all my uh, action figures, the ones that, that I bought. And um, you know, with the new the new origins line, until I get my uh, gray skull, the new one. So far, it's going good. I mean, I'm I'm satisfied. I'm, again, I'm a long way to go, and this is not over. And um, you know, uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, guys, update. This is how it's going so far. Uh, I uh, finished with the skull, and I did uh, platinum silver there. I'm still working on the. Uh, the towers as far as like the, uh, the you know a little bit of gray and I colored the bottom part green and the jawbridge a little bit different a little bit of purple uh, if you remember with the uh, animation uh, there was a lot of that color uh, this is how the uh, other tower is going and again I put some green there and did some little bit of the highlights um, so now I have to go and get some uh, new paints for this, which is going to go in the back. Uh, but so far, I'm really liking it. So uh, I'm still not finished. Still have a little bit of way to go. I think I'm going to dabble a little bit with the green there. Uh, but uh, I think it looks good so far. All right, everyone. So um, I'm finishing up for today. Sun's coming down. And, uh, you know, I don't like to work when I can't see the light very good. Anyway, this is the way that it's uh, ended for today. Um, I'm, again, I'm still debating on uh, this part right here. I'm still debating on it. And, uh, well, I, uh, I painted this black. I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, as you can see... And uh, this one, I, 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 I hasn't dry, hasn't uh, dried up yet, so I'm gonna probably do this one tomorrow. And right now, I'm gonna end my day by uh, giving it a little bit of a, a touch up on the um, jaw bridge. I like it so far, but I, I want to give it a little bit of a touch up, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so this is the fourth day that I've been working on the Castle Grayskull. So far, it looks pretty good, and. Um, Today I'm going to dabble a little bit with the uh, rock formations, the green part that I did, and see how that goes. And uh, I think today I should be finished, and hopefully um, the product will come out uh, the way that I envisioned it. So uh, let's uh, get to work. Okay, this is the final, excuse me, again, this is the final result. And I put some action figures here, this... Uh, of the here inside the castle so this is the inside of the castle now if you guys want to print these out um you know go to toy poloi it's this british guy that uh does a gives a lot of tips on restoring old toys there's the um space suit and i painted everything black here's the bottom part and what i did was that the chair doesn't move, it doesn't work, and I'm missing the trap door, and I'm missing the elevator, but I'm going to have to do uh, right now. And I painted it a gold, as you can see, and uh, it took me a while to do that. And uh, the stickers, again, I got them from Toy Poloi. Uh, this particular 
power sword is from this guy. This is a bootleg figure that I got here in Mexico. This is uh, how the original line came out, the original He-Man, Battle Cat. And this is a new one that came out, the um, Origins. So as you can see, now they have a home. And um, well, uh, here's the other sticker. Now I'm going to fix this part of the jaw bridge. Uh, I have some material there that I want to use in order to fix it. And the other front. Here's the repaint. Like, like I told you, I wasn't very happy with this color, with the original green. So uh, I went and got some metallic. Remember, uh, this is Eternia. Colors were a little bit weird. And this is the front of the castle. Again, metallic stone, right? I, I really dig the um, metallic green, you know, mystical castle. I'm still missing these things right here, which I do have, the, the, the ones that come here in the tower, but uh, in the other gray skull, they're a little bit hard to uh, knock off and I don't want to break them, so I'm going to figure that out. Again, these are the other stickers, the flag and the banner and the one from the, uh, the trap door, um, which I will use when I, once I get them. Again, guys, a big shout out to Toy Poloi. Um, I wouldn't have gotten these stickers and these cardboard cutouts without his page. So um, what do you think? Pretty good. I mean, as for my first custom job, I don't think it's that bad. What do you think, Miss Christy? It's very, very cool. I'm so proud of you. All right, guys. So leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, well, let's see if this is, I'll start making some more customs. I will actually, thinking of going to buy some more of these uh, and maybe make a, a faker He-Man. I think that would be really cool. You have a lot of material to work with. And later on, I'm going to make a review of the new He-Man toy line, which I think they're pretty cool. But, you know, I'm a little bit biased towards the uh, original, so... Uh, like, subscribe, and share. See you guys.